good morning students welcome to grade 4 math topic 13 lesson 5 our lesson equivalence with the metric units of capacity and mass which will get it from the textbook page 703 to page 708 the lesson objective is recognize the relative size of metric units of capacity and mass and convert from a larger unit to a smaller unit now we shall go to the essential understanding um, to convert from a larger unit of length to a smaller unit of length multiply the number of larger units by the conversion factor that is the number of a smaller units in each larger unit again to convert from a larger unit of length to a smaller unit of length multiply the number of larger units by the conversion factor that is the number of smaller units in each larger metric units of capacity and mass metric units of capacity include liters and milliliters the capacity mostly you usually use liters and milliliters when we are dealing with liquids metric units of mass include kilograms grams and milligrams metric units of capacity and mass one liter equals 1000 milliliters one gram equals 1000 milligrams one kilogram equals 1000 grams essential question to ask ourselves how can you convert from one metric unit of capacity or mass to another how can you convert from one metric unit of capacity or mass to another example one how many grams are in five kilograms how many grams are in five kilograms one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams so multiply 5 times 1000 and you will get 5000 grams multiply 5 times 1000 and you have to get 5000 grams our example number two how many milliliters are in seven liters how many milliliters are in seven liters we know that one liter equals 1000 milliliters so we are going to multiply 7 times 1000 equals 7000 milliliters so multiply 7 times 1000 and you get 7000 milliliters our example number 3 how many grams are in 4 kilograms how many grams are in 4 kilograms so we know that 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams so we are going to multiply 1000 times 4 you get 4000 grams try to answer the following tables and the next slide it has got the summary of lesson 4 and 5 okay boys here is the summary of the lesson 4 and 5 try to answer all the questions if you get any problem let me know. Thank you and goodbye.